Goodbye, Case. Ride really hard. Sometimes they have to ride hard. Are you hurt at all? No. How are you? Fine. I'm okay. Oh. Huh? Look at this. Are these bell flowers? I thought they only bloomed in the fall. Those are spring lindo. Huh? They bloom in the spring. Well, you sure know your flowers. Well, I'm a florist. Want some? It'll make you feel better, Mr. Florist. It's good, right? <coughs> what is that crap? It's called Freud. It's a new health drink. It's supposed to give you all this energy, and they say it's good for your skin. Oh. My name's Yuriko. Yuriko Asakawa. I ride a Yamaha FRZ. You've a GPZ 400M, right? I didn't know they made a street model. Oh. My name's Ken. So, where are you going, Ken? I don't know yet. Then let's go, Ken. Where? I know a great road for riding. Come on! Oh! <laughs> We are so lucky. This place is never open. Oh, I feel great. I love to travel. Sometimes I come here to ride by myself. It's all good and well to go riding on your own, but it's so much nicer to meet someone along the way, get caught in the rain, and end up in a motel. Ken, do you really like being a florist? What? Not really. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to travel, so I decided to work for a trading company. But all I do is pour coffee and make copies. There's got to be more to life than that. I'm seriously thinking about quitting. Quitting? First I'm gonna quit, and then I'm gonna move to Australia. Australia? I wanna go to Australia and ride my bike all over the wide open roads of the outback, and ride as fast as I want. That's my dream. Your dream? <sighs> I'm sorry. This is boring you, isn't it? No, it isn't. Liar! I'm not lying! Yes, you are! It's interesting! <laughs> <laughs> Ken, do you really have to be this serious all the time? Yeah, oh. <laughs> I guess that's true. But, you know, I never worked for a company. 
You've always been a florist? I'm going home. Wait a minute. You can't ride. It's pouring out there. Yes, but... Good night. Are you really okay down there? Yeah, I don't sleep well in a soft bed. Too comfortable. <laughs> okay, I'm turning out the light. Hey, uh, Ken, what are you doing tomorrow night? I don't know yet. Then come with me. I'm gonna need a partner. Hey, Ken? Uh, Ken? Sweet dreams, Ken. Uh, this manual labor gig isn't my thing, except in front of the ladies. Hey, what's going on with Ken? I don't know. Ken never misses work. It's not like him. Oh, I wonder if he's found himself a woman. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. It's Ken we're talking about here. <laughs> Sorry. Was I really all that bad? Yes, you were. But you had the whole weight of the world on your shoulders, so I just couldn't leave you alone. Really? Ah, all gone. That was good, but it was my last bottle. You can't just get that stuff anywhere? No, it's not the same as the stuff they sell around here. I always get it at the vending machine in Shibuya by the police station. Oh. I've got to go buy more, even though I don't need it to have energy <gasps> when I'm with you. Don't say that! You want to stay for a cup of tea? It's late. You're right. Mwah. Good night. Call me, okay? awfully happy. He finally comes home and... Is, is he singing? Hello there. Huh? Uh, uh, hey! What are you... What is it? Are you faint? I'm huh? sorry. Oh, please, don't worry. I'm okay now. Hey there. Are you sure you're really okay? Yes, thanks. I should go home. <gasps> Did you see that thing on her forehead? Maybe she has the disease. What are you talking about, disease? It's absolutely all over the place now. Yeah, someone in my friend's class had it. At first, it's just a small bruise on her arm and leg. Even more and more and more until finally. You can't be serious. But it's true. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Ken. Hmm? Well, I was just thinking. Ken, how long do you think we can spend time together? I'd like to stay this way forever. I heard from my friends in Australia yesterday, and they asked me if I wanted to come down next week. What? Well, they have their own bike shop down there, and they asked if I could help out, and I really want to go. But Ken, I realize that I don't want to go to Australia without you. Yuriko? Australia, my dream. If I'm with you, everything will be okay. Just the two of us. Forever. Oh, Ken. Uh, Eureka! Ken! So you'll go? I'm 
so happy. Thank you. No, wait. No, I can't. Ken! I'm sorry. Just forget about me. Ken! that I don't want to go to Australia without you. Good morning, men. Our targets are these men. The president of Lacute Strix, Hisao Kutsuno, and Hiroshi Maeda, his factory manager. They are conducting human experiments on the general public by putting chemicals in their health drinks. Look at these. The recent spate of deaths from this mysterious disease were caused by the consumption of this chemical. This is horrible. This drink is highly addictive, and if consumed regularly, it will eventually eat away at skin and muscles. This is the health drink, Freud. Huh? Hunters of the night, deny these evil beasts their tomorrow. It's called Freud. It's a new health drink. Yukiro. And there you have it. You will all soon be... <gasps> huh? Ken! What a pain in the ass. Yuriko! Oh. <laughs> Ken! This is poison! It'll kill you! Oh, Ken! Here! Oh. Are those... Tomorrow morning at ten. From Narita, I bought two. Tomorrow? Oh. Stop it! No! no leave me alone! <laughs> Meet at the airport. Uh, you promise? Must be hard being so popular. Wait a minute. You're not actually in love, are you? Shut up! What would someone like you know about love anyway? You're just a player! This is my last job. <sighs> How many? How many have you killed? How many people over all those years? And you think you deserve to be happy? You know better. Yes, but I want to make her dreams come true. <laughs> A mysterious disease. Melts the skin? Female high school students at risk? It's too late to worry about that now. But, sir, it says that the police are opening an investigation into the cause. Don't worry so much. The vending machine at Shibuya has been removed. Now we'll move to the suburbs. Oh, Mr. President, how do you come up with these ideas? You are so brilliant! Well, Mr. Corrin has taken excellent care of us, hasn't he? Yes, sir. Indeed he has. It was a risky project, and your efforts made it happen. I thank you. Thank you, sir. Ah, look at the time. I should be getting back to the factory shortly. I'm counting on you. Yeah. Sir, we're all finished here. Thank you. I will do the rest. You may go. Yes, yes sir. sir. The president may think it's safe, but I think it's getting riskier. As soon as I get my next payment, I'm going to leave the country as quick as I can. How did you get in here? Don't hurt me! 
<laughs> Is it money you're after? You can have all you want. Here. Can now. <laughs> There is no public link between us and Lacutes. Don't worry, Father. The experiment was almost complete. <laughs> I suppose now we can move into the next phase of our human experiment. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next mission going to be? I'm not sure, but it's gonna be big. I don't know why, but I can feel it. <laughs> 